Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here from I Take Everything. And in this video, I'll be giving you the first boot and initial impressions of the new iPad Air 2. So I just unboxed this in the previous video. If you didn't see it, go ahead and check it out on the channel. And without further ado, let's press that power button. Ooh, shiny. Now, the iPad Air 2 is supposed to have a 56% less reflective display, and already on first impressions, it does seem less reflective. Because I have an open window right behind me, as you can see there, and it's definitely not as reflective as previous iPads. So here we are at the setup screen. There are all the language choices. We'll select English Australia, like so. And now it says device ready. After inserting a new SIM, check if there are new settings available for your carrier. Well, I'm not putting in a SIM card just yet, so we'll press continue. Enable location services, service new open. And here we have welcome to iPad, get started. And there is the new iPad Air 2. So on first impressions, the screen definitely does look very nice. Now, as I said, this is the 128GB iPad Air 2. However, we only have 110 gigs available, if you can see that. So guys, my initial impressions of the iPad Air 2 are very positive so far. I definitely think the screen's less reflective. It looks very vibrant, very nice, and the device overall feels quite snappy. Stay tuned for camera tests and plenty more videos on the new iPad Air 2. I'm going to be very curious to find out how much RAM is in this new iPad because the new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus only have 1 gig of RAM and I was really hoping that the new iPad would have 2 to 3 gigs of RAM. So I think I'll run like Geekbench on it and stuff, stay tuned for that. Follow me on Twitter over at twitter.com forward slash iTechEverything and I'll see you guys in the next video.